So Simarore will require the drilling of thousands of wells. Roads will need to be built. Facilities will need to be built. The pipeline eventually. Um, Madagascar at the moment doesn't have the, that kind of resources uh, available. How do you anticipate that the funding of development of this uh, asset could progress? Yeah, I mean, the, if you look at our asset, well, we've got a phased development plan. And, uh, you know, we, once the government approves our, uh, our, our development plan, uh, we'll move into, into phase one, which requires us to drill several hundred uh, wells over the next uh, uh, three, two to three years. And after that time, we go into the next phase of drilling, uh, and then we get into several hundred more and into the thousands of wells uh, in there. And we, we, we've got a plan that basically takes advantage of our existing shareholder base. And our existing shareholder base has been pretty consistent and supportive of us thus far uh, and carried us to, to where we are now uh, on the verge of getting this development plan approval, which will be significant for, for, for Madagascar uh, oil. Uh, and at the same time, I believe we've actually you know, talked about that we're going to be looking at different strategic type of partners that we would actually bring in and work with uh, in the future. In our last um, investor presentation, when we talked about that in November, we talked about the different types of potential partners, all the way from off takers to oil field supply companies, equity, private equity, larger companies, all those are potentially in the realm of talking to and understanding for potential strategic partners to uh, help us further develop this, this asset. And I think you also mentioned uh, in that presentation the IFC, which is an offshoot of the World Bank. Uh, I've seen across a number of the other companies that we look at that the IFC is looking increasingly uh, at investing in oil developments. That's, a, that's fair for, you, for Madagascar as well, isn't it? Oh, certainly. I mean, we, we had them on our list to, uh, to be able to talk with and understand the World Bank was, was there. The World Bank is actually uh, in, in country, and uh, we've had conversations with them. So again, we're not taking anyone off the, off the table in terms of how we would look at this and development. You know, what we want to make sure people understand is that we're going to develop this in a safe and environmentally sensitive way. Uh, I think it's been significant that we've, to date, we've drilled over 130 wells in the country. We've, we've built a central producing facility uh, that we're currently using now. Uh, we recently celebrated 3 million man hours with no lost time. Uh, and I've been in many op different operations. That's world class. Uh, and 90 percent of our workforce is Malagasy uh, employees that we that we have. Uh, so it's been a benefit and, 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 and a bonus for us to be able to implement and get to where we are right now and implement the kinds of safety and environmental standards that we'll continue to uh, emphasize in the future. Matt, you talked a bit about the environmental side of it. Madagascar is uh, you know, uniquely well famous for its, its wildlife. Um, what kind of impact do you think this project may have on the landscape? Uh, it's a very remote project, isn't it? So how do you expect to, to um, have the effect on minimizing the environmental disruption, I suppose? Well, we're, we're very uh, sensitive to make sure that we don't uh, minimize the environment. Uh, we, we have to put a development in. The area that it is, there's not very much in that uh, region or that part of, of Madagascar. But when we go to develop the, 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 the asset, develop the wells, the field, the pipeline, we know there's environmental concerns that, that are there. Uh, we'll be doing our environmental impact assessments uh, throughout uh, the project and associate with the well development, also associated with the development of the, of the pipeline. Uh, we've also brought in some, um, uh, we've actually hired a uh, biodiversity expert uh, that we now have on staff in t anticipation of, of taking a look and making sure that we're doing things in from an environmentally sound uh, 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 reasons and prospects. Uh, so we're taking the steps that we think we need to make sure that uh, we're going to have minimal impact on the environment uh, going forward. And finally, I suppose to, to politics, you've had uh, in Madagascar Oil a significant contribution to the economy uh, over the last few years, when a number of companies exited at the time of the coup in 2009, Madagascar Oil stayed. So you've you've generated and kept some good relationships. But there's a, there's a recent change of government. Can you talk about what the effects of that change of government has, and what the strength of your relationships are with with the government and the local communities? No, well, I mean, uh, Madagascar Oil has been phenomenal. Uh, as I came in and looked at it before I come uh, came to the company, uh, the company Madagascar Oil has been there for 10 years. Uh, we've invested over $300 million into the country, uh, in, into our development, uh, and that also creates external opportunities when you have that level of investment. Uh, we did stay when other companies left. Uh, when, the, when the coup was going on, we were continuing our development, continuing to do our work, continuing to get our pilot uh, uh, outlined and built. 
So we've done a lot uh, through that process, and uh, the government in 2000, January 2014 uh, elected a democratically elected president uh, who's been in place and uh, is very supportive of our project from the aspect of the president came out in June to talk uh, and dedicate our blending facility. And at that time, he actually had a quote talking about the benefit of this project could be on the potential for the Mal Malagasy people uh, there. We saw that as very positive. In addition to that, we've got great relationships with, with the Omnis and the ministry, uh, and because we've been working with them for, for several, several years uh, now, and we're continuing to work with them uh, as we try to work through our development plan approval. So we think that we're well positioned with the government. The government is, is very supportive of our project. The government wants this project to happen. We're the first company to go to the development phase uh, with, the, with the government. And what that means is, initially, you're in an expiration phase. And expiration, people may think of as, as you're drilling an expiration block uh, offshore or something. The country does have some blocks offshore that other companies like Exxon and others have come in, and they're actually evaluating their opportunities for offshore blocks. Our project is onshore. Our project is, was, is in the exploration phase because we haven't moved to development. And that's the whole idea about this development approval. Yes. Uh, we're, plat we're past that. We're ready for development. And we'll be the first company in Madagascar to do that. Uh, we're the only company that was actually producing in, in Madagascar. So we're doing a lot of things on working with the government uh, and working through some of their questions associated with uh, the oil and gas industry uh, on the upstream side. Uh, here and uh, working as, as equal partners in, in developing those. What, uh, what can we expect in terms of the next um, two or three months? Uh, what, what will the company be announcing, if, if anything? Well, we're, we're focused on getting the development plan approved. Uh, and as, as I said, even though the development plan is, is pending approval, we're moving forward with our development evaluation program, which helps us get additional quality information on the, on the reservoir beyond what we have now to improve our view of what the reservoir uh, really looks like. And then we're planning for our, our well work and, and drilling that we'll have once that development plan are, is approved. So we've got a lot of things on the, on the plate now, in addition to looking at our exploration potential in the other three blocks that we have. Thank you, Robert. If you need any further information, you can go to the Edison website.